Hi, Les from Thailand, retired and living the dream. Today's video is going to be a combination of three videos that I've linked together. So it's a bit of a long one, but I've been asked many, many questions over the past couple of months or so with regard to the same inquiries and about how do you meet the Thai girl friend. So I've done this video. This video is because I've actually experienced and I've done this and I've been out with a bar girl, I've been out with an internet girl and I've been out with a, a girl that's employed and working. And this is my experience of being out with the three different types of girls. And over the past month I've met nine subscribers and I've got to say seven out of the nine have met their girls on the internet. So the second video deals with online dating and you get a free ebook with this one if you watch the video. Just follow the links on the video and I'll send you a free ebook with regard to online dating. And just after this short intro there's a, a timestamp so you can actually click to the next video if you want to bypass one of the videos or wherever because I mean the whole lot goes on for about 26 minutes but it, it is to do with what people have been asking me over the past month or two months and it's a, as a result of those people that were meeting the girls online Thailand is open now anybody can come to Thailand and the restrictions have all but gone so there's many people who are going to be coming over to Thailand because they've met their Thai girlfriend online. And all I'm saying is be careful. Please be careful with all those people who are coming here thinking that they're going to live happily ever after. Watch the videos and you will actually see. And I'm always a positive person. So the end video that I put on these three videos is I met the perfect wife and I have met the perfect wife. And it is possible to meet a beautiful Thai girl and settle down with them and live happily ever after. So leave your comments down below, subscribe and enjoy the videos. Hello, Les from Thailand here. And today's video is going to be about those people who arrive in Thailand and want to meet their perfect partner to settle down with for the rest of their lives. Or maybe it's not. I went out with a few different girls and in today's video I'm going to talk about the three types of girls that I went out with. One was a, a bar girl, another one is somebody who was working in a job, full time job and the other one is how I met somebody on the internet. So first of all uh, I'll talk about the, the bar girl stroke cashier. Um, it's when I first came to Thailand not knowing really where to go or what to do or how to do it and a friend of mine ran a, a guest house in in Pattaya and another friend of mine who who's lived here for seven years previous to me moving across here used to frequent that guest house and bar so I took a lot of advice off him and he said to me he knew the cashier of this guest house stroke bar for a number of years and he said she won't rip you off later she's a nice girl um, so I took his advice, uh, asked her to go out, and she said yes. So I spent two years with this girl from that one introduction. She was a lovely girl, nice girl, pleasant. Um, but towards the end of the two years, um, it started to break down for one reason or another. Um, I, for me, I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't a, a cheater. I never strayed anywhere. Once I was with her, I was with her all the time. As far as I knew, she never lied to me. She was honest and she was a nice bubbly girl. Everybody loved her. Everybody thought she was brilliant. Um, but unfortunately, she had a, um, a hysterectomy um, because they thought she had cancer. So I paid for her to, to have this hysterectomy because the surgeon said it was best that this would happen. Um, so following that, following she had the hysterectomy inside her, it changed her and she became a very moody person and a very, towards the end, very aggressive. So we went to the doctors and I thought hormone treatment, take a pill, take a tablet and that'll, that'll cure her. But no, the doctor said to her, no, 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 your hormones are okay. It's a crazy doctor you need to go and see. It's not a, a psychiatrist. It's nothing to do with your hormones it's a crazy doctor obviously she didn't take that very kindly and she was very upset over that so we tried for another 
two or three months unsuccessfully, you know when a relationship's starting to fail because she started arguing all the time. She came at me with a meat cleaver and a lumpy two by two wood to hit me over the head. Um, I called the police, the police came round and talked and calmed everything down. And end of the two or three months later, for no reason whatsoever, threw a dinner up against the wall, we started a big argument and she came at me again with a, a meat cleaver. I told the, the police again, the police came round and in between me going to the police station and the police coming round, she smashed everything that she could possibly smash and get all of, threw it all down the stairs, just just trashed everything, about a hundred thousand bahts worth of my possessions that were totally broken. So then th that was the end of that game, as I say, I give her two, two attempts and on the third attempt I just said, no, listen, enough's enough. No idea why she turned, but that's the only thing I can put it to was the operation. In some ways it changed her mind. I did try to help her by taking her to the doctors and seeing what we could do with hormone therapy treatment and it just didn't work. So best to walk away, best to move on and find somebody else. So then that, that was the cashier stroke by a girl, guest house worker. There's many things that you can say it was, but it was what it was. She used to go for customer, with customers for money. But we had a nice two years together, on and off. So the, the second relationship that I went, I looked for somebody on the internet. Um, I'd been around all the bars and one thing and another. And I thought, I'll give the internet a go. So the internet dating was quite interesting. Um, listen to a little bit further on the video and I'll tell you a couple of no-nos on, on the internet and what to watch out for. So the girl that I met on, on the internet, she used to work at a, a language school. She used to teach Cambodians English. So quite well educated, quite happy in herself and when I met her, everything went okay. She was a work worker, she had her own apartment. Um, everything looked good. We went out together just as like boyfriend, girlfriend, started dating and then just moved on from there. Excuse me, over water. So moved on from there. She then decided that she wanted to be a chef. She was a good cook anyway, so she wanted to go to um, a school to, to be able to, somebody to teach her how to cook because um, ultimately she wanted to be a chef in one of the top five-star hotels. So for an order her to do that, you had to leave the, the language school and, and go towards the Venus Chef. It's a special school in Pattaya. This would mean that she didn't have any money to pay for a, a qualifications or a schooling and she wouldn't be earning any money from being a language teacher. So I offered to pay her her costs to go to this school for six months. And that worked out about 13,000 by the month I'd give her for the six months while she went to school. So this was working five days a week. Uh, she did very well. She was one of the top students in the, in the school. She was getting taught by one of the chefs that used to cook for the king. So good qualification, good knowledge base. And then at the end of the six months, she got a, a job at the Dusset Tani in, in Pattaya, where again, she didn't get paid because it was sort of an um, internship where she worked for them for another six months for no pay. So she could gain the qualifications. And again, I didn't mind it because it was just like, yeah, okay, it's, it's what you want, it's what you want. But then she was working six days a week. So she was going out at seven o'clock in the morning, coming back seven o'clock in the evening, tired, and we only had one day together. And after the seven or eight months, it was like, mm, I haven't come to Thailand to do this, sort of drop her off at work, be on my own all day, then she comes home for two hours, then we're in bed, and then do the same again the following day, and just have one day a week off together, where she was tired and she wanted to clean her apartment out, or clean my apartment out. And it's just like one day a week to be with somebody, it's not really what I wanted. 
and then she came home from the Dusset Tandy one day and said that she'd been offered a, a placement for six months in America. So she said to me, let's come to America with me, Nevada. I've got this, this wonderful opportunity. And I said, well, it's not my dream. I said, I haven't no need or intentions to move to America. So I said, listen, go and follow your dream. And we sat and discussed it for two or three hours. She was upset that I wasn't totally upset because I saw seeing the writing on the wall and I wished her every happiness and success. And off she went. And, and then following that period, I had a number of girlfriends from the bar, um, in the bars at Pattaya. Again, I met a couple of girls on the internet and I met a few girls via other recommendations of other people, but nothing, nothing really clicked. And um, I've got to say, like I said about the girls on the internet, the one that I met on the internet she used to get at least 100, 150 messages every week. So for those people looking for a, a romance relationship on the internet, be careful because years old, there is a lot of competition on the internet. So be careful. Whilst they're talking to you or going out with you, undoubtedly they're talking to somebody else also. And the, the third one that I can talk about, about relationship wise. Again, th this girl was one of the girls that I met off the internet. Um, but I'm sure she, she used to work in a bar, although she said not, um, I think she did. You, you sort of get this feeling and um, I'm a very, very doubtful person anyway. I, I find it hard to trust people because there's lots of people let people down and some words of advice was given to me by a friend of mine many, many, many years ago. And bear this in mind, please take this advice, is good feelings go a long way. And he's given the three strike rule. The three strike rule is being number one, if you think they're up to something, it could be in your mind the first time. The second time, it's like, hmm, I'm probably not wrong. And the third time, get shot. Make them go away because you're not wrong the third time. And this one that I'll explain about is the girl that I was with. She was lovely. Every, again, everybody liked her. I'd only been, in with her. I'd been out with her for a few weeks. She was at my condo in Jomtium. And then she said, oh, I'm moving apartments this weekend. So she said, I won't be able to see you this weekend because I'm moving on Friday evening to a, another apartment. And I said, do you want me to give you a hand? She said, no, 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 I've got plenty of people to give me a hand. And then she went into the shower and took the telephone with her. Well, for me, that's like ding, ding, ding. Taking the phone into the shower bathroom with you. Mm, okay, well, I might be wrong. The second one was after she'd moved into her apartment, it was the Saturday morning, she rang me up. She said, oh, Les, I've got to go to Bangkok. Um, I've, I've forgotten to go and pay my son's school fees. So she said, I'm going to Bangkok. I said, yeah, okay, then if, if you need to go to Bangkok, you need to go back to Bangkok. So she said she was leaving at nine o'clock. So from nine o'clock until 11 o'clock, I was calling on the phone, no answer, to a girl who always has the phone in her hand, alarm bell number three. And because I met her on the internet, once we got together, I said to her that, listen, I'm coming off the internet. So I said, I won't even go on the internet to talk to anybody else. And I would ask you to do so. And she said, she did. So I went back on the internet, looked at her profile. She changed her description. She changed the dress. So she was still actively seeking other people on the internet. So I phoned her up when she eventually answered the phone. I said, listen, don't bother coming back. I said, um, it's not going to work out. I said, the relationship's over and done with, but thank you very much for your time. I was pleasant enough and off she went and found somebody else. I'm, I'm sure she has. So that's my three descriptions of the girls I met and dated previous to my being married to my wife. 
I've been, I've got to say that my wife is one of the nicest people that you could ever wish to meet. She doesn't lie. She doesn't cheat. She doesn't embellish anything. She's as honest as the day is long. She is truly one of the nicest people anybody could ever wish to meet. So the girls are out there. You've got to look at yourself. Go with your gut feeling. Have fun. Find the girl that you want. Be truthful with them and if, if it's not working out, have the, have the courage to move on and find another one. The thing is with Thailand, they're everywhere. You could find a really nice one and be with them for a long, long time. Or you can find a bad one and be with somebody for a short time. But you will soon find out over here. Let's from Thailand to you. Today's video is going to be about online dating in Thailand and the good points and the bad points about it and the things to be aware of online dating here in Thailand. Now as the gates are starting to reopen in Thailand on the first day of this new track and go system there was 23,000 people applied for the track and go way into Thailand so there's a big big demand on people coming here to Thailand now I've been talking to quite a few people that are actually online dating people here in Thailand and they're asking my advice on this and how to go about it and whether they should trust their girlfriends or not so I've had a lot of lot of people talking to me over the past three or four weeks over this so I've decided to make a video about this anyway so I'm going to refer to some notes that will keep me on, on track as to what I'm going to be doing. But here in Thailand, it's not difficult to fall in love with a beautiful girl. But what makes it difficult is finding the right girl to fall in love with. There are many, many stunning, beautiful ladies here in Thailand. And you as single guys in the ages of 50 upwards to 70 odd year old looking for love, and the companionship and friendliness in Thailand on online dating sites. It's like a minefield. I've actually done an ebook for this video and it's five simple steps to online dating. And towards the end of the video, I'll give you details on how you can obtain your free copy of this 56 page ebook. And it's full of interesting facts and things, what to do and what to look out for. Many, many things that you can look at. And for those people who have already subscribed to my channel, I'll send you a free copy. Just send me an email on the link below and I'll send you the ebook. And it's interesting reading. So for those people not already subscribed, subscribe, send me an email and I'll drop you a free copy of this ebook. And it's very interesting to read. So onwards with the video. So, as what, so why is online dating so popular? Well, as with everything else, the situation has forced people not to mingle, go to bars and pubs and nightclubs and restaurants. And the online business and working from home has just shot through the roof. And many, many Thai girls are now working online and doing their business and connections with other people online. It is a massive growth industry, not just here in Thailand, but all around the world. It's, it's a fantastic way to meet people. Now I can speak from experience for this because I've actually done online dating here in Thailand and I also did online dating in England before I came to Thailand. So I know how it works and how it goes. So if anybody wants to ask me any questions, please feel free to do so because I'm open and honest and I'll give you the good and the bad and the ugly about online dating. But this is talking about online dating here in Thailand. So the beauty of online dating is the fact that you can look through many, many, many different profiles and narrow down the profiles that you want to talk to. It's not like going into a bar or a club where you have to start talking with them and getting the brush off because they've already got a boyfriend and they're not interested in you or they're not interested in you in the first place. It does away with all that lot. So for those people who are shy and bashful with regard to chatting up women especially in our older age we haven't been doing it for years because majority of us have been married for donkey's years and you sort of get out of touch on how to do it so the online dating side of it is absolutely fantastic for breaking them barriers down and you've also 
met somebody when you're talking to them online and so it sort of breaks the ice in the first place. But I would suggest be clear about what you want with regard to looking at the girls on the internet, whether you're looking for a full-time partner or whether you're just looking to have a bit of fun. Because wherever it is, the girls are looking for the same thing as well. They're either looking for a bit of fun, a bit of money or a full-time relationship with somebody. Everybody needs to be upfront with what they're going to do. Now I've lived in Thailand for 10 years and then my first relationship in Thailand lasted for a couple of years and then after we split up I was sort of in between girlfriends if you like and I tried this internet dating and I'm going to put some videos up here later on in the video with regard to find your Thai girlfriend and a short video about how I found the perfect wife and a video called Thailand Revenge and it's about a person who sort of took revenge because he wasn't very happy that the relationship broke down. So I've done many videos with regard to living in Thailand and online dating so I hope you enjoy them all. But as I say, I'll put some links later on in the video so you can actually find them and be able to watch them. So what is it you're looking for? Marriage or casual dating? They're both very very far apart. Um, th there was one stage when I I wrote my profile out on Thai Friendly and what happened there, I put two different profiles up. One was to say that I was looking for a full-time girlfriend and I wanted to have a serious relationship. And another one that I would just pay a certain amount of money for casual relationships. Believe it or not, I got more replies for the pay money for casual relationships than I did for finding a, a long-time partner. So again, it's whatever you want and be careful what you're looking for. So how to get the most from the internet. First of all, you have to be honest with yourself and honest with what you want and look into everything that you're going to be doing. Planning to go onto the internet. It's a big step internet dating and I wish you the best of luck in doing it. There are thousands and thousands of people doing it. So if you think you're the only person that's talking to this girl, well then you've got a shock to come because there'll be hundreds of people talking to the same girls. I've had people who email me and telling me on, on the internet, yeah Les, I think, I think I'm the only one that's talking to her. I can assure you, you are not the one and only person she's talking. For instance, I met a girl on the internet and we went together for a year and she was telling me she was receiving about 150 emails per week with regard to requests on taking her out and wanting to do all sorts of things with her. So you are amongst many others on the internet and many people are shocked and surprised and let down once they come to Thailand and they start being with the girl that they thought that was their girlfriend online and they find out that they aren't the only one. So again, be prepared for that. It, it can be a big, big letdown. It's all about more than looks and things like that. You have to have a look at yourself in the mirror and look at the reflection and think, what's the best points about you? Don't start off with a lie. Don't start off by saying you're 10 or 15 years younger. People know people who lie when you first meet them because there's tells. Start off with being honest with yourself and honest with the person that you're talking to. I met a girl on the internet and she was about two stone heavier when I first met her and she said, oh, now you're just looking at size, you're looking at size. No, I said, I'm looking at, you, we've started off this relationship with a lie. I said, I still find you a very attractive girl even though that you're a couple of stone heavier than what you see in your profile. So at the end of the day, don't start off with a lie. Again, you've got to find common interests. Now, bearing in mind, you're coming to a different culture. So they won't be like the Westerners and you know into this, that and the other. It's a total different culture. Now you coming to their country, you have to change, not they have to change. So bear that in mind also. So there's different culture differences, different feelings, different ways of living. Don't oversell yourself. Don't say you're better than anybody else and you're Mr. Superman and everybody should be with you because you're so fantastic to be with. Again, people can see through that. Just be normal, just be honest with everybody. Also, when you do online dating, it, you've got to look good. It's no good sat there wearing a muscle top singer shirt or a Chang shirt if, if you're fat and overweight. Wear a nice shirt, make yourself look presentable because at the end of the day, that first meeting that you're going to have on the internet tells a lot about yourself and about the person that you're going to be with. First impressions count both when you're first talking on the internet and when you first meet also. Now people on the web, 
can be very deceitful and I know a few girls, should I say, that have three or four boyfriends at the same time talking to them on the internet. I actually know them personally because I just know them. Deceitfulness shows through at the end of the day. You can ask the certain questions. Like I don't like lying. I always tell the same story. So if anybody asks me, it's the same story. And if you tell the same story, then you never have to lie. But if you are talking to many different girls on the internet, it's easy to trip yourself up because you could be telling somebody one story and telling somebody else a different story. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's looking for honesty and reliability in their partners, whether the Thai or whether the foreigners. So if you start off with a lie, it's just going to build up and build up and build up. And then that's not very good for a good relationship. So getting started on the internet with regard to online dating, there are a couple of websites that I'm going to suggest. These are thaicupid.com, thaifriendly.com and asiadating.com. Now, as I say, they're full of ladies on the internet and you'll be spoilt for choice. But like I said, there are thousands of girls on there and they're talking to thousands of men all over the world. So be prepared to be sharing the girl that you're talking with and be honest to yourself that she's going to be talking to other men because at the end of the day as well, she's looking for the perfect partner to, or the perfect sponsor to be with. And they'll ask for money. And if you don't send them anything, then they'll just ignore you and just move on. So is this, this the type of person you want to be with? Like I said, the internet, online dating over here is full of obstacles. It's like walking in a minefield. You're going to hit a few. You're going to get angry. You're going to be disappointed. But the next thing to do is just move on and just take it on the chin and just move forward. So if eventually you do get to Thailand and you're meeting the girl bear in mind you might have been talking for months and months and months but when you actually meet them and it, it just a, it's a totally different feeling it totally is and I've been told by many people that it's not the person they fell in love with on the internet things have changed and they are not the person that they were talking to months and months and months ago or being talked to the same person for months so be aware of that and don't do like what this person does, Thailand revenge. Just take it on the chin. You're big enough and old enough to move on and find somebody that is right for you. So I hope this video has been interesting. And please watch these videos that I'll put up here. These will give you a bigger insight into the online dating here in Thailand. And for those people who want the free ebook, leave your email address, send it to my email, and I'll send you a copy as soon as I can. I don't pass your emails on to anybody else. This is just me, just trying to add a little bit of extra to my channel and give further information that I can. And reading this ebook will open your eyes, hopefully, and make your online dating, if you're doing online dating, a better and safer and happier event. So from I built up walls like mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was drifting out safe from any shore